Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ram Cherivu. You are officially in the dad zone. Now today I wanna to talk to you about what dad should pack in his hospital bag. Now the reason I'm making this video is because there are plenty of resources online about what mom should pack in her bag, but not nearly as many resources that help dad pack his bag. So the first thing you should pack is the basics. Imagine going on a uh, a three, four, or maybe even, if you wanna be careful, like a five day vacation. Uh, just, it's really important to pack comfy clothes, your underwear, your shorts, your pants, your t-shirts, uh, a sweater, because it can get cold in the hospital, uh, and of course, toiletries. Uh, one pro tip here is that I would definitely pack your own soap and shampoo. Uh, the reason is, at our hospital, for whatever reason, they actually did not provide soap and shampoo. And friends of mine that delivered at different hospitals said that soap and shampoo that they were provided were very, uh, not very good quality. So I'd definitely pack whatever soap and shampoo that you'd like using at home. Now, the second one, this is a big one, is dad, you should be in charge of entertainment. So the first thing there is pack a Bluetooth speaker. But one mistake that we, we made is that we didn't pack an aux cable. My wife was fortunate enough to get a wireless heart rate monitor, but the problem was with that is that you, we had to turn off all Bluetooth devices because they might potentially interfere with that heart rate monitor. Uh, so we were stuck without listening to music for a couple hours before my father-in-law was able to bring a cable. So be sure to pack an aux cable. The second thing is be sure to pack a laptop. During the labor process, you are probably gonna have a lot of time to kill. So it's important that you bring a laptop that's pre-loaded with movies. If you're like me and my wife, we might spend 30 minutes to an hour sitting on the couch trying to debate on what exactly we're gonna watch on Netflix, right? Don't let that happen. Preload your laptop with plenty of movies so that you don't have to make a decision on what you're gonna watch. A pro tip here is when it comes to the music that you play in the labor and delivery room and the movies that you watch, dads, pick what mom likes to listen to. Pick the movies that mom likes watching. One of the mistakes that I made when I first got into a relationship with my wife is that when I bought her gifts, I tended to buy her things that I wanted and not what she wanted, right? So again, pick the music that she listens to and pick the movies that she likes watching, right? Because this is her time. And uh, another pro tip here is when it comes to music, make two different playlists. One for the labor time, because you're gonna have a lot of time to pass and a lot of time to kill. And a second playlist for the pushing time. When it comes to pushing, it's a completely different environment and the energy is a lot different. So the music that we listened to uh, during the pushing time was more upbeat, energetic music. My wife loves Imagine Dragons and Coldplay and we listened to a lot of that during that pushing time. Whereas labor, the laboring time was more entertaining music, more uh, chill music to help pass the time. Number three, dad, you should be in charge of all the chargers. Of course, in today's society, we have all different types of wireless devices that require all different types of chargers. Dad, you can be super helpful by packing all the chargers. And pro tip here is that you should also be in charge of wrapping up the room and not leaving any chargers behind. In the commotion of the labor and delivery process, a lot of things tend to get left behind. And the first thing that is forgotten is your chargers. Number four, and this is also a really big one, is pack things that will make mom comfortable. So in our example, we packed mom's favorite blanket and she used that to make herself warm and comfortable throughout the entire labor process. Um, another thing that's super helpful is pack things that make mom feel loved. Maybe love letters you've written to her over the years, uh, some pictures of, of yourselves on your, going on your first date, um, some memories, have some memories uh, that you can pull up to remind mom of how much you guys are in love. And there's actually a scientific reason behind this. It's become, because when mom feels loved, her body naturally produces and releases oxytocin. Oxytocin actually helps the uterine contract and helps along the labor process. Number five, 
I highly recommend packing a sleep mask. Even if you're not in the habit of using a sleep mask when you're at home, I would definitely pack a sleep mask for the hospital. In our hospital room, there was tons of flashing, beeping lights and, uh, and monitors on everywhere, making it really difficult to sleep. Only when we covered all the screens, turned them all off and put on sleep masks were we able to get a wink of sleep. And of course, getting some rest is gonna be super helpful for mom in the labor and delivery process. The last thing I would highly recommend that dad pack is plenty of snacks. Not just snacks for you, but also for mom. Uh, most hospitals do not allow mom to eat any food. And which is crazy to me because labor and delivery is one of the most physically taxing experiences any human, any human being can go through. And women are expected to do it on an empty stomach, which is absolutely absurd. Um, but there is a scientific reasoning behind that. Um, it actually goes, dates back to way back in the 1940s. Uh, and there's a risk if there's food in the mom's stomach, that if the mom has to go to have a C-section, that she can aspirate or breathe in stomach acid. And that risk increases if there's a food in, in mom's stomach. However, this d dates way back in the 1940s uh, when they used to use general anesthesia in a c-section now they just use a local spinal block and the risk in the local spinal block for aspiration has reduced significantly I read one study that said you're more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to aspirate uh, with a local spinal block in place all right, those are, the, those are the six things that I would highly recommend dad pack in your bag. If there's anything that I missed, please be sure to comment in the comment section below. If you like this video and like to see more of tips and tricks of, that dads can use to help mom out, then please subscribe to my channel. This is Dr. Rom. You have officially been in the dad zone. Take care.